Psst. I. Psst. Hey. I. Hey, you. That's Guess what? me. VTuber yeah. debuts are a scam. Hi. Controversial. My name is Rio, and welcome to Vent Tea, where uh, I like to spill the tea hey, about subjects that tea. are interesting to me. I should Most. do something like this, honestly, too. Like, I should do something like this just on stream, so I have an easier time just cutting it out of the stream and then uploading it. I'm already doing that! Oh, I mind. <laughs> Flamer. This is all my opinion. I'm allowed to have it. Yes. My therapist said so. VTuber debuts are a scam. And I say I this as are. someone who just quote unquote had a successful debut. So I'm aware of just how much of a scam they actually are. So what makes this a scam? Well, it's pretty simple. It's the perception of what a debut should have and what it will get you if you have a successful one. When you think of it- Okay, uh, before all this, uh, my opinion on debuts is they're fine. They're fine, you can do it, you don't have to do it. If you wanna do it, go ahead and do one. I. I never had one because this model was pre-made and I was already a streamer. I just didn't stream much anymore. I just returned to streaming in the end when I started VTubing. I never had a debut. Maybe I'll do a debut on if I do have a 2.0 model. Probably will. I probably will have like a tiny event around it. Overall, I think they're fine. But... A lot of VTubers hold them to such a standard where they expect so much out of it when they shouldn't. Like, they expect, like, on one thing, it creates a. F it doesn't create a false narrative. It creates, like, a wrong view for the streamer slash VTuber slash whatever at the time. Because there's a lot of hype around Dibby, right? And they, th like, it's it's bad in a sense that on a debut your numbers will be high, but then they will just sink, and that's like bad for your mental. That that's what I'm getting at. That's how how it's bad. Like if you want to do a debut, fine. You don't have to. You do not have to do a debut. Is my opinion. Yeah, okay. As someone uh, new to watching VTubers, I don't know what a VTuber's debut is. Okay, so uh, let me explain. A uh, VTuber's debut is. When, um, for example, it's a completely new VTuber. Um, it's a completely new VTuber. They haven't streamed yet. They have just... Thank you for the follow, Virana Show. Hi, thank you. So, a VTuber debut is something when it's a new VTuber. They haven't streamed yet. They're a new personality, a new character. And... They will promote new models, new emotes, new events, all for a debut. A debut is basically a stream where they present themselves, where they show themselves to the world for the first time. Or a new model. There's also something like a redebut where they also show their new model for the first time. It, I think it started mainly from... The Japanese kind of uh, thing from um, the Japanese path side, the Japanese side of the VTubing spectrum, and and more more like EN VTubers copied it because I think mostly Whole Life, like mostly Whole Life, was the one doing VTube debuts first, if I'm not mistaken, which popular uh, popularized them. And then people in the end started copying it more and more, and now people have this like, oh, you need to have a karaoke song in it, you need to have a new model, you need new emotes, you need new this and this and this, and so much shit around it. In the end, it's like an event where a streamer shows themselves or a new model for the first time, more or less. <laughs> Kitsuna Ai? Kitsuna Ai is the first big name VTuber, she never had a debut so to say, in that sense. But there were VTubers before Kitsuna Ai. But Kitsuna Ai is the very first one that people know of. I love Kitsuna Ai. I loved her content. VTuber debut. 
what comes to mind? Let's just stick to a basic list of what most people see during a debut. Well, You're going you go. to see a new model, new model, a model reveal graphic, new That's overlay screens, new- Like on Twitter, people will often make posts like, this many likes and this many tweets to unlock a certain part of the model. Starting soon or ending screens, new alerts, new emotes, New alert sounds. Okay. New Twitch panels. A lore video. Debut teasers. Oh yeah, a lore videos, I forgot. Graphics for a subathon or donathon. Not necessarily. And possibly merch. Yes. Unless you have a team of artists, designers, editors, and possibly even a manager locked into your basement, the time investment of building for a debut is roughly on average six months. Oh, oh wow. and by the way, on average, I mean, all I of those assets including... combined will cost you between I mean, five and ten thousand dollars. I mean, that's including the time of creating all of that stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Makes sense. Okay, so why? Why is it a perception in the VTuber community? A bit loud. Now we need to turn this down a bit. Community that you absolutely have to have a debut. You don't. And not only a debut, but every debut has to have all of these assets. It's idol culture and it's idol bigger culture. VTubers. I know what you're thinking before you jump down my throat with that. Rio, you just hate bigger VTubers because you're jealous, so you're going to blame them for all of this. No, they were. This seems like a lot of work for something I should start off as a hobby. Uh, this is job. I agree. I agree. Uh, I 100% agree. Like, you should test first if you want to be if you even like vtubing if you even like this entire thing like debuts without ever streaming before that i think that's a bad idea that is 100 percent a bad idea you should stream first you should start small first if you still want to debut afterwards go ahead do it that's fine but a lot of people don't do that a lot of people just do all of this work on twitter without ever like streaming before and then they Yo, thank you for the gifted! I don't know why that alert didn't go through, but thank you so much for the gifted! Oh wait, it's not gifted, it's a prime one! Sorry, thank you so much for the prime sub! Oh, did I just scroll down somewhere? By mistake. No, no, here, prime sub! Thank you so much, thank you so much, sorry. Uh, OBS is being stupid right now. You can debut a better model when you have the... Uh, yes, I agree with that one. Like, you should definitely try out VTubing first. If you wanted to be afterwards, go the frick of hell. Uh, I just found you on YouTube and you react stuff. Uh, and uh, like you react stuff, so here I am. Well, you know, shall hi. It originated from Korean idols. From Korean idols? Or from Japanese ones? Hmm. I'm sorry, I, uh, my OBS chat is kind of small because I don't have the screens right now to read everything. So I'm really sorry if I miss some chat messages, guys. I'm really sorry. Vocaloids were also an inspiration for VTubers. Definitely were! Yeah. Oh, can I have a Geschenk abo von Neko? Oh, you extended! That's why there wasn't a lot. You extended the gift to Neko. No, wait, you extended the gift from Neko with Prime. Okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It's hard to get where they are, and they have the Holy budget shit. and took me contacts for those large debuts. They also already have an audience pre-built, so they usually have most of what they're going to get on the back end of a debut. The problem is there is a perception an expectation that every VTuber debut must include this list, if not more, no matter the size the of the audience is crazy or that the size of the wallet. So what's worse is there's me. some hidden thought out there that 
if you have all of these items on a debut, you'll instantly become a successful content creator. No, you yeah, won't. You need to be I'm funny and entertaining. I've never streamed a day in my life, and I there should have a debut with a VTuber model that just wiped out my savings account because I have a danced animation, three outfits, 17 toggles, a controller animation, and a tongue rig, and I'm only going to use two of those things. <laughs> Minor pet peeve. Anyways, the other scammy bit about debuts is the actual debut cycle. So the cycle is when you debut, you take the money from that debut and you put it forwards towards another debut. So that in what? that six month time period, you'll have another debut what? and then you'll rinse and repeat and you'll keep Why? putting the money from the previous debut What's the point? into the next debut. And then what so is the maybe, fucking point? Maybe eventually you'll break even. So let's review. There's a perception that you have to have a debut. There's a perception you, that yeah, a some people really has think they to do, have all but of you these don't. items, if not more. These items are expensive as they fuck. are. There's, There's a notion. Generally, some VTuber models only the art or only the rigging going for 10k at the top end. Only art or only rigging. That's the highest price I've ever seen for something. And I'm not saying it's uh, a bad price. I'm saying that it can be that expensive. And yes, for what the person is getting with... Like, no. The artist requesting this amount of money is in their right to do so. Yes, it's expensive. But art... Is a privilege. VTubing is a privilege. This is a privilege. This isn't your right. That by doing all of these things, you will gain money, fame, and followers. And in order to keep getting money, fame, and followers, you need to continue doing <laughs> debuts okay. with more no models, of course. more toggles, more dance animations, more merch. <laughs> Clam you disabled and rinse the government? <laughs> I... I am officially so mentally ill that I cannot work according to the government. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. I was asserted. Is, the, is that the correct word? Asserted? I, I was checked by a doctor that the government wanted me to go to. And that doctor said, you're too fucking mentally ill. You can't work. <laughs> Go get checked. Get therapy, bitch. <laughs> Go get yourself some fucking per uh, therapy, bitch. <laughs> Assess was stuff. correct? Okay. Stop. Cease. Desist. Enough. I can promise you, if you're already an established streamer, you don't need to do a debut. You don't need and to. If you're not you can. an established streamer. Have you tried streaming yet? More than one Honestly. time? Maybe try. You're too messed up to get messed up by work. <laughs> try that before yep. investing five to ten grand in. Work doesn't need to mess you up anymore. You're already messed up enough. Do a debut. So. <sighs> I was always taught that if you're going to present a problem, you also need to present the solution. What's the solution instead of doing a debut? Don't Just do stream. the gigantic debut. Do stream, make a small smaller debut. celebrations and release the assets that you can get when you can afford them. Me? Literally me when I do my fucking emotes. I just... Whenever I have a new emote done, I just put them in. They're, they're up there. They will be right there. Y'all, you guys got a shit ton of new emotes over the past week because I couldn't do anything else. <laughs> Maybe combine a release of assets with things like an anniversary or a birthday or things like that That's... instead of just having a single debut. But here's the big thing, and this is something that I almost fell into the trap of. 
don't allow yourself to think that just because you don't have all of these assets that your celebration isn't going to be something to remember. Don't allow yourself to feel bad because you can't afford or justify every single asset on this list. Don't fall for the scam that the perception of debuts have perpetuated upon the VTuber community. Celebrate there's many victories. Yep. You just got yep, that new yep, controller yep, yep. asset? Celebrate it. You probably paid a good deal of money for it. And that money may have been donated via chat, so... No, I mean, VTuber can be Iron Moss and that's okay. Yeah, it absolutely is okay. So, celebrate it with them as soon as you get it, if you feel like it. This isn't going to apply to everybody. If you have the money and the assets, do a debut if you want to. But I know that this has put a lot of my community- Also this- uh, uh, Regarding this- Regarding this, right? I've seen VTubers debut and within the span of a few months, if even, they graduated already. Also, for those people who don't know here what graduating means in VTuber terms, it means that they um, cease all activities as that VTuber altogether, and in some cases even stop streaming altogether. That's what a graduation is. They may move on to a different company or who knows. They may graduate. It just means they graduate from this personality and from this streamer activity in this thing. They just quit. It's basically quitting. Community through Hi, hell. And I'm not talking my personal community. I'm talking my colleagues within the VTuber community that are close to me. That they've always been stressed about it. I was stressed about it. So here's my solution is just don't fall for it. Save those bigger celebrations and those full-on debuts or when it's feasible for you and your community. But for every language to say you quit fight, I think that's from idol culture as well, again. I think that might be from K-pop culture in this case as well, because K-pop and J-pop, I think, together. Like, especially, like, the idol industry. Because usually, like, idols usually, like, end up also graduating when they stop being an idol anymore and I don't know the, the people over there on the east saw it uh, in comparison as high school graduation or something I don't fucking know okay don't ask me I'm not a, I'm, I'm not Asian I, I don't know how Japan and idol handled so the idol culture damn it. it it's something it is quite flowery language it is quite the flowery language but I believe it's also from idol culture God, I'm, I'm stupid. This has been Venti. Oh, um, could could my uh could all of my artists and designers please not come for my throat? I I I, I still want to pay you. I still want to give you a lot of money. It's oh, fine. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> Good video though. I liked it. Picasso, Picasso. Good video. Honestly, chat. Because, especially because this is, oh, I already linked it, especially because this is a smaller one. You guys, all of you who just watched the video with me, open this video up and just let it run muted in the background so the person gets the watch time. So, show some support. Show some support. Give the person the watch time themselves for all this video because we just watched this video from a super small crater who seems honestly very lovely. Cozy building and exploring in games. I also live stream on Twitch. Yo, she's live! Chat, she's live! Look, I've hit your ankles enough, you should just go down. She's live chat! Sam, maybe? We will rate her, actually. We will rate her is what we're going to do. That's what we're gonna do. Can we say hello? Yes, we can, because we're going to rate her. I was, uh, 
that was our last video now anyway. We're gonna rate her. We're gonna rate her. We're gonna rate her. Graduation came from J-pop culture many years ago. Yeah, okay, so I, I did remember that correctly already.